Hello everybody, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I've seen these on YouTube and there's quite a lot of them on there. And I thought, oh, I really like them, I'll give it a go. So my first attempt never worked out. And this is my first attempt. I had to cut the um, ombre strips wrong on that one. So I thought, oh, I'll give it another go. And I come out with this one. Still didn't like that. And that's when I went back, had a look at another one, found an easier way to cut the paper, and I come up with this one. So today I'm going to make another one, except I'm going to use this paper, uh, Bermuda Bay. So I've got two sheets of the Oso oh Ombre papers from Celebration and I'm going to use them. You need two sheets. I've also got a card base of 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth, scored at 5 and 7 eighths, folded in half. I've got a piece of Uh, white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and another piece at five and a half by three and three quarters for that. And I should, but I haven't got a piece for the middle, and I've got none left cut. So I'll have to get a cut another piece later and to do the inside. So I need this don't need them. I've also got a bit of white. Oh, right, hang on, I've got to find some um, Bermuda Bay, scrap of Bermuda Bay, which I've got here. I shall cut that off, a scrap of Bermuda Bay, and white for the sentiment. And for the sentiment, I'm using the stamp set Butterfly Gala. And just using that a little note because this is a note look card and this is retiring so I can't believe that I mean half the stamps I haven't used the butterfly stamps them too anyway but oh well that's the way it goes and for the sentiment I'm using the oval dies um, these two. So that's one from the center, it's the second one and the second scalloped. So first of all we'll get cutting. So I need this piece and these two pieces, I've put them together, both with the light side at the bottom or the top whatever way you're holding it and I've got my um, trimmer so need to zoom out so you can get the top of the trimmer there we are and we want to cut these at one and a half inches strips so, just cut these at one and a half inches, so we'll end up with four strips, because this is six by six. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. The blade come loose then. Two, one more. One and a half. Right, so, and then you want to take the strips and put them in your trimmer. 
trimmer with opposite corners in there so I've got that one in that channel and this one in this channel and that moved And then just slice them in half that way. That never went through the second one. So let's put it back in. And cut it up. Right, now you want to keep the dark tops to one side and then the light tops to one side separate them so we'll do the same again with all four strips making sure the corners are in and press that down so it goes through the Strips, so lights to one side, darks to the other. Next ones. This one one way of using up your papers. You know me because I've always got loads of papers left over when it retires. Right. That's that done. Now with your white card you need to find the middle. So this measures five and three eighths is it? Yeah. So that's two and a half, two and five eighths and one sixteenth. Two and five eighths which is there and we want one sixteenth. And we're just going to score it you're not going to see it just so we've got the middle right we don't need that anymore let's bring you back down right i'm putting that in the middle and what we're going to do is we're going to i want to do it this way keep it like that and get our glue you could if you've got the um, runner tapes in fact let's try that I've got my silicone mat when I put that on I've got a runner tape and I'm going to put tape all along the edges and then just tuck over any tape that's gone over that for now right and we're going to start with a dark one and what we do put the point right to the bottom of the card 
and place that there. Then we get a light one. Do the same, put the point to the bottom of the card and butt it right up. Either side, a light one either side. Butt it right up and there we are. Now a dark one. Right to the bottom and butt it right up. Oh no, dark one. Trying to get it right to the bottom. And then we go light. You will be left with maybe two or three of these pieces of DSP over once it's all done. shouting at me. Right, now it's light. And then dark. And there we have our page covered and I have three left over. Right now we need to get the scissors and just trim them off. in the card on here on a white bit like that and then this We mount on our card base. Uh, no, that's right. I think that's quite nice. We just need to stamp out our sentiment. And this is a little note. Uh, 
and then we'll cut this out using my sidekick. Go there, and then we need a bit of scrap for the scallop one. Don't need to take that one down. the touch glue and we'll pop this on the card with dimensionals so we need Pick the box up upside down. Right, and that will go on there like that. Right, once I cut some more white card up, I shall pop a piece in the middle. didn't realise I was out of it. And there is my card for today. There it's in pink. I do like these two. I don't like that one that much. And that one's a waste of time. I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.